home biscuits it is february 17th friday um and it's gonna be two weeks since my last weigh-in it's gonna be it is two weeks since my last weigh-in um i was at i wrote it down or put it on my calculator 317.8 two weeks ago so i'm gonna do the weigh-in and then i'm gonna set you all up on my tripod because i noticed that i usually ramble off for at least five more minutes and then my hand starts hurting so I'm going to do my way in and then I'm going to put you on my tripod, sit down at my table and just talk to you um, and let you know where I'm at. Especially since I haven't been vlogging um, really. I like to kind of just catch up and let you all know what I've been doing or just any thoughts that I'm like I want to share with them. So um, yeah, let's do this. Ugh. Okay, so y'all know the routine. If you don't know, my scale is right in front of my curtains to the patio. And there's my lonely sandal. Um, and I've got to do this little thing before I get on it. And then I'm going to step on it and wait and see where I'm at. 312.2. Okay, I'm wearing a skirt. Um, let me see. Minus 312.2. Oh my gosh. That's a, a big 5.6. So I'm averaging about, again, two to three pounds a week, which is, I think, in my personal opinion a good consistent rate but let's keep talking okay so 5.6 pounds that's pretty good um this last week i i didn't go to the gym as much um only because i'm trying to get adjusted to my schedule for school like monday i think i'm gonna i think i'm gonna make an effort to not go on mondays and um consistently go like on a Saturday or Sunday to make up for that day because typically um, when I first started going I was going at least Monday through Friday guaranteed and then some Saturdays and Sundays I would also go and then some Saturdays or Sundays if I had like an event or family time I wouldn't go so I would um, uh, kind of just those are my days off I guess <laughs> um, but Monday is so chaotic for me like I go to I go to work from eight and then eight to twelve and then I have class from twelve to one forty and then I pick up my son. I literally have from one forty to my next class at three thirty. That's literally the right amount of time to get to my son's school. He gets out of school around you know like within the next twenty minutes or so, and then I pick him up and I have to drive him back to. I don't know if you y'all have like boys and girls club or whatever, but I have to drive him back to like a YMCA type of. Uh, center and then I end up dropping him off there around um, like 30 minutes before class starts and then I have like 30 minutes to get to class and it's I mean and it's not far but if you don't know I am in LA County and <laughs> there's always a little bit of traffic so although it's not far it's definitely time-consuming so my schedule, like I said, it's like go, go, go. And then I have class and it's a three hour class because we only meet once a week. So I have to sit there for a three hour lecture. I am so exhausted by the time that class is over. And I went these past two times um, to the gym right after. And I have to be by the gym because the I've, I've mentioned this before, but the kids club closes at nine. So I have to be there by minimum like 7.45, to especially because it takes time to find parking. Um, it's getting a little bit better on that, but it's still taking a little bit of time. So I'm going to switch off my Monday for another day because I'm like, I don't think I want to go to the gym on Mondays because I am just exhausted. And then I have to somehow in that time, I get I get out of class at 640 and I still have to pick them up. And, like I, I don't eat and that's not okay. And I'm not okay with that either. So I'm just going to take a break. I'm just going to come home, cook a healthy dinner. Um, I may even find maybe like a 15, 20 minute workout at home that I can do like later on in the night. Um, but I have to get my son to bed and it's just way too chaotic. So that's the news with that. Other than that, um, I'm adjusting to the new schedule and I think once I make that change, I'm going to jump right back in because I did go the rest of the days. Um, I am considering getting a trainer only because I know that there's a lot of information out on the internet. I just don't have time to really look for it at this very moment with all of the school that I'm taking. I'm taking five classes this time and it's just way too much pressure to sit down and learn it on my own like I have before. Um, 
and I I know that I push myself on my workouts, but it would be nice to know that I have a little bit more knowledge or what I should be aiming for. I'm not I'm not stuck at that point, but I feel like sooner or later I am gonna be there. So I'm already thinking about like, okay, save my money so that I can pay for another trainer just so that I can take it to the next step and be on my own for a few months and then maybe down the road get another one or some or like get a you know five or six more sessions or um, just to kind of up my game and then just continue that way if I can, of course. Um, as far as eating goes, I again, have been eating the cleanest. Um, I attempted to do like a what I eat in a video instead of vlogging, but that still takes up a lot of time. And again, um, I'm just trying to get adjusted. So it's not like I'm never going to do it. I just think these first two weeks of school, I'm just trying to get really um, used to how the system works. And I think the reason why I'm really being thrown off if... Um, you didn't know majority of my classes are online but that doesn't mean that they're easy it, and, and sometimes they're even harder because you have to um do like twice as reading to make sure that you get instructions correct and you have to actually do the reading sometimes in class you can get away with just being in class and listening to the lecture because majority of the information is going to be on the quiz or test with online there's no way around it you don't read it you don't pass the quizzes or exams so um I'm getting adjusted because I'm using three different platforms to access all of my classes that are online. Um, and that's, it can get, it's been getting a little chaotic. So I'm going to have to organize my life. I'm going to buy an agenda and go back to that. I thought I could just kind of get used to because most classes have the same setup. But for some reason, these three classes are just not, they're just not blending. And it's driving me nuts. So with all that said, um, I don't know, um... If I'll have the time to do like what I eat, but I do want to share that because I used to do that a lot and I miss it. Um, and if I don't get to do like what I eat, maybe I'll just do like one meal a day um, and have something to put up because I know every time that I put like a food video up, everybody um, is always like, oh, yum, or you know, get ideas and stuff. And I want to share those because I enjoy watching videos that I can get ideas from. And I'm like, oh, I never thought of making a food like that, or oh, that seems so much easier. And I'll probably save twice as uh, you know, much time cooking that, especially from you know, hectic schedules like myself, which many of you probably have as well anyways that's the update 5.6 down 5.6 pounds is awesome um i like that i'm averaging two to three pounds every two weeks uh that is great i honestly thought i was gonna lose a little less because i like i said my exercise wasn't well but um eating clean also helps a huge part of it um i really i say no to a lot of things and um i feel very comfortable and very focused so i am super excited i am pretty much less than 13 15 pounds away um out of the 300 so i am excited um for the next you know month and a half or so probably um based on my average to get out of it so i'm excited i'm so excited i finally feel like weigh-ins aren't as sad <laughs> as they used to be i'm really happy that my weigh-ins have been um on a consistent basis and that I'm not stuck um, or that I feel that I'm, what am I doing wrong, even though I knew what I was doing wrong or I knew what could help me in the long run. Um, I finally feel like I've taken control of this weight loss rather than fighting it, if that makes any sense. Um, I felt like last year was just fighting against everything. And now I feel like I've conquered that um, and it's just, go from here so thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate all of you um i've gained a few subscribers since uh, my past two weigh-ins and i'm super excited and i've subscribed to most of you if, if i haven't um i may have just forgotten so just leave me another message like hey i need you to your support too because um i really i don't have a lot of times to do a lot of things but i do make an effort to watch a lot of those weight loss videos because a i want to be encouraging but b i also want to get inspiration i say that all the time and i really really do mean it um so thank you so much for um coming back or being new it doesn't matter i genuinely appreciate for me it's not about anything other than knowing that i have this community that honestly has also been a huge part of this weight loss i don't know if I mean, I know that if I didn't do this, I probably wouldn't have been where I'm at today because that's the reason why I started 
uploading the videos because I knew that I would find a community that it would be good, but y'all turned out to be great. So thank you so much and I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to follow me on all my social media at I am Lolo and don't forget to subscribe.